Hi everyone, it's Rachel and welcome back to Paula McClay charm update number 27. In this video I'm going to be showing you all the Paula McClay charms that I've made since my last update and any that I have tutorials on or separate videos I'll leave all the links to those down in the description for you to check out. So first up I have some kawaii cube charms to show you and these ones are all fruit ones. So I have a peach, a watermelon, a lemon, an orange, a red apple, a green apple, a mango, a pineapple, and finally a strawberry. Then I also have some cube charms that I made for Halloween. So I have a kawaii candy corn, a Frankenstein's monster, a black cat, and also a little pumpkin. I then have this strange looking chubby dinosaur charm and I made this in my blindfolded clay challenge video so you can check that out by clicking the link down below. I have three little kawaii plant charms and I have one with a granite base, one with a white base and then also one with a tan base and they've just got like a little succulent in a pot. I have these two charms which I made from a video series where I turn my students um, from school's drawings into polymer clay charms. So this first one is a strawberry. So it's pretty much just a little, oh sorry, a little bear poking out of a strawberry. And then this one here is called a penish corn. And a penish corn is a mixture between a unicorn, a pineapple and a marshmallow. I then have this figurine which isn't exactly clay, I mean well the base is clay but the rest is resin. I thought I'd show it anyway. So this is something I made using the supplies in one of the Sophie and Toffee Elves boxes and all of it is made out of resin except for the base which is polymer clay and it's just this like little winter Christmas crystal figurine. I then have these two llamas from Fortnite and I have two because this first one here was a practice one and then I decided to make a video on it and that's what this one's from. I then have this little chubby cat charm and it's holding a little donut and this charm is inspired by a drawing by an artist on Instagram whose name I can't remember just at the moment so I'll pop it on the screen somewhere but that's just what that one looks like. I then made some more hedgehog charms so I'll show you each of them in detail. So this first one's a little pastel one and I coloured it using chalk pastels actually and I used um, aquas and blues and purples on the spikes. This next one's also kind of like a pastel theme one and it's inspired by like sunset colours. So I use pinks, blues, purples and yellows for the spikes. This one's just a classic hedgehog and I just use brown for the spikes. For this little guy I tried to make it like rose gold so I added pink and then I also added some pearlex pigments on top and then some more on the little tips of the spikes as well. This one again was also coloured with Pearlex pigments and I used a darker blue and then I also added some little gold tips on the ends of the spikes. And then finally for this one I went a little bit all out so I just added a bunch of chunky glitter on the back and that's what it looks like. And then finally I have 50 Polo McClay stars to show you and they all have different expressions so I'll just do like a little montage and show you them in a little bit more detail. And then that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking forward to lots more crafty videos in 2019, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.